All right, so today's topic I want to talk about is idealistic thinking versus proof-based thinking. It's a very important topic because a lot of times people say this is the way day game works. It's like this or like that. Looks don't matter. This be congruently in the moment. The opener doesn't matter. You know, texting is point A to point B. It's all this other fucking shit that doesn't make any sense. And it doesn't work in real life. So idealistic thinking means it sounds good. It's very motivational. It sounds uplifting. If you sound any if you hear any advice that sounds like RSD, uplifting shit, it probably does not work. So the idea is that I hear a lot of stupid shit about day game. For example, uh, race doesn't matter, folks don't matter. You know, sell a romance or some bullshit like that. And the thing is, too much of that, or your Asian guy, you see a guy, just it stalls the interaction. Unless your positive stereotype is not working. It's all about the results. That's why I have more testimonials than everyone. So the truth is, right, that a lot of this stuff is actually marketing. When people tell you all this stuff, like, race doesn't matter, looks don't matter, aesthetics don't matter, just go in there dressed like shit, like all the other Asian guys with fat hair and everything. And just go approach a girl. In reality, what's going to happen is you're going to creep her out because you're not in her tribe. You think that because, you know, looks don't matter. You don't improve other areas of your life. It's really important to improve every area of your life. Exactly how you feel. Not stuff. <laughs> Anyways. But you have to improve other areas of your life too. So if you knew you're Asian and you're like East Indian, your, your SMV scale is lower, then you want to work on your fashion and you also want to work on your game. And by game, I don't mean RSD shit. I mean, honestly, all of my clients who are Asians and East Indians, they've all been burned by RSD. They also get burned by two companies. If it doesn't work, right? I want to say, what the fuck are you doing? Like, seriously. What, why would you do that? Like, no, just be natural, be a normal, relatable human being. So in reality, in day game, a lot of things that we think is real is probably bullshit. People who does really well with it, right, are probably very privileged. They're really like tall white guys, black guys, muscular guys, and they tell you all these things that work for their body type, but it doesn't transfer over to you. So in conclusion, you know, be objective. Sometimes in life, right, being objective is the most important thing. And seeing things as they are, because sometimes in reality, the truth is not always so beautiful or so uplifting or so comforting. The truth could be really, really ugly, and the truth could be very realistic. So that's what you should be thinking about. If you're a truth seeker, a real truth seeker, you should look at the truth and follow the testimonials. Why would you listen to them? Why would you listen to these other people who just have no fucking results or student results, or they can't transfer to their other coaches the skill? That's all I'm saying. Just be objective. Think for yourself for once. Don't be a sheep. And I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I find it hard to tell you. I find it hard to take. When people run in circles, it's a very, very mad. Tell me what's my lesson Look right through me Look right through me And I find it kind of funny I find it kind of sad The dreams in which I'm dying Are the best I've ever had I find it hard to tell you I find it hard to take When people run in circles It's a very, very good